53. Isaiah 53. God is asking, who has believed our report? Who has believed our report? And then Isaiah goes to do, say what Christ came to do. Sometimes it is the same thing. Ninani ana ana amini report yetu. He report na muratea ni wangabi wa tamini. That Christ finished up on Calvary on your sin. Irisha. He finished up. Na karibu. He destroyed all the curses. He healed you on Calvary. Hallelujah. Amen. Who shall believe this report? Because when you believe the report, ukiamini report ya mungu, iyo mambo ambayo mungu amefanya, itaza kutendeka Calvary. Amin katika mashako. Do you get me somebody? Amen. Hallelujah. So we are on the land benefit. Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, bless the Lord, and forget not all the benefits. We are looking at what happened on Calvary. Amen? Amen. Without the cross of Jesus, we have nothing and we are nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. So we found the first one is our sins were forgiven. The second one, we were healed. The third one, our curses were broken. They were removed and we are blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. The fourth one I would like us to speak is peace. Say peace. At Calvary, you are given peace. Ulipatiwa pale kwa msalaba Yesu. Ulipatiwa amani. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Amani ambayo yuwezi kuelezeka kwa kibinadamu. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Waya tukasome pale mistali ya Isaiah. Isaiah 53 verse 5. It says, but he was wooden for our transgression. You are forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. He was bruised for our iniquities. I want you to underline that chastisement of our peace was upon. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa ajili ya amani yako alipitishiwa mambo makali ya kinidhamu. Hallelujah. Nayo ilipitishiwa msalabani. You know, one time Jesus was told his disciples, let us cross over the other side. Wacha tuende ile the other side. And when he did that, wakaingia kwa Merikabu, they came to a ship. Na Yesu, akaenda kwa Merikabu akarara. He went to the deck of the ship and slept. Hallelujah. And the Bible says there was a lot of storm. There was weed. Kulikuwa na weed. Na there was trouble. And the ship, ikaza kuingiza manji began to sink. Instead of calling on Jesus, they began to help themselves. themselves. Sometimes when you forget the cross, what was finished on the cross, we begin to help ourselves. Tukisahau kile mungu alimaliza msalabani, kile kazi alifanya, tunaza kujitendea kazi wenyewe. They began to remove water. But the more they removed, the more they were sinking. Vilo aliondoa manji wa kandaya kuzama. Because whatever you try to help yourself and look at the cross, you die. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot do what God has done. He did it because you cannot do it. Alifanya hali, alifanya musarabani kwa sababu, wea ujuezi kujisaidia. Don't be lied to. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a gospel. Jesus finished on the cross. So they began to help themselves. But when they could not, they saw they are perishing. Wakaona wanaangamia, wakadidi ya mungu, wakasema, Yesu Christo, don't you care we are perishing? Fanyu wani tunangamia? Wakamuamusha. Amen. Amen. What did he say? He said, peace. Be still. He rebuked the weed. Because it was demonic. Haka ikemea. Na katuliza bahari. Hallelujah. Kukakuwa na kwana matutulifu. Waka shanga. Haka ambia mkua tuwa imani. Na wewe kusiku yele kuwa na imani. Na kile Yesu Christo walifanya msalabani. Have faith on what Jesus accomplished on the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. These days we are being, you can be taught what to do, one, two, three. But if you want to rise up as a Christian, have faith in what Jesus finished. Kwa na imani, kwa ere Yesu Christo, alikamirisha musadabani. Hallelujah. Amen. He said peace. That's the peace I'm talking about. Yo di amani, amani, ile na kuambia. Uli mwenguni razima watapata shinda, sita kuja. Mafuriko, vitu vitakuja, amen? amen. Lakini uka nazatembea kwa amani. You can have peace. Katika mambo hayote. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. When we have trouble in the world, Christ has given us peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Most of the time when the devil an attacker kutuinukia, analeta upepo. Upepo ni kusema, he brings trouble in your life. Things, we are not, they are not working. When you see things are not working your way, today people are working with stress. Kama kuna kitu, na divanasikia Kenya, tunasema kuna shida ya mental health. Mental health ina, inaangalia nini? Tukitaka kujua your mental health, taza kwaza kwa kupima hile stress unapitia. There is a way, wadakitari wanapima stress hile vayako. Mental health, kwa nini watu wanafanya mambo na shangaa? Kwa sababu akili zao zinakuwa na shida. Wana mekosa im, ama, I mean, amani. They don't have peace. They have under stress. Mungine alichukua ron ajui atalipaje. Imeongezewa. Niliona juzi ya creep in Uganda. Nika shangaa. I saw a creep. Kwa nilitumiwa. Wanajeshi. Wawili waringia tu. Wale wanapiana ron. Waka, waka piga risasi. Kwa sababu roni yao imekuwa ikiongezewa ikiongezewa interest wamepiga risasi tu. Wakaua watu hivyo. Hiyo ni stress levels. Kasi watu wanaongana. Stress levels make that you. Nasi katika maisha in our lives our stress can be so much when we are not getting anything in our business, mambo yaendelee, school fees is nenda tulikuwa nafungua shule, you don't have money, you don't want to do. Hallelujah. Maybe biashara yako haifanyi vizuri na sasa pesa zinahitajika. Tuko pamoja. Are you getting me somebody? Stress level. What total abda? They are not behaving themselves. Una ambia hivi wanafanya tofauti. They are doing see them different. Those who trust that they will grow to be a good boys, good guys. That's how anakuletea shida. Stress levels. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But Jesus brought us peace. Say peace. In the midst of trouble. In the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't walk this with your mind, you'll always be healthy. If you look at the cross, hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said in, in John 16, that the three, he overcame so that we may have peace. He says, these things I have spoken to you that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. You see? Yes, we have to say that in tribulations. Don't be lied. There will be things to cause stress. Kuna mambo itakuja kukufa kusumbua ya kuimba imani amani yako. There will be things that will make you to have no peace. But Jesus saying, as a Christian, as one born again wame okolewa, amesema, nimesha kutafuti amani. Amesema, mimi na muambia hibi mpati amani. Amen? I'm telling you this that you might have peace. In the world, utapata majaribu na mambo ya kuondoa amani yako. When you lack peace, the devil can be able now to manipulate and try to enter or to make you do things which are wrong. Melewa. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what the devil does. When you have a lot of stress is when you can do something wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And Jesus said, be of good cheer. I overcame the world. Where did you overcome the world? On the cross. Say on the cross. Before going to the cross, he said in John 14, 27, Peace, I live with you. Peace. Say peace. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, I, I, I give I unto you. Let your heart not be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Hallelujah. Namwachia amani. Amani namwachia. Sika mavile ulimwengu na pia namani. Namwachia amani yangu. Wacha mwe wako usifadhaike. Let not your heart be troubled. Why did Christ say that? Because he was going to the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. He was going to be chastised. Anaenda kudhurumiwa kwa sababu upate ya man. Yeye atatolewa, yeye is a prince of peace. Lakini ataenda, atolewe, aeko pali ya kuna amani, ndiyo akupati ya mani yake. Hallelujah. Amen. He was troubled. He is the prince of peace, but he is troubled to give you his peace to you. There was a transfer, see a transfer of the peace of God to your life. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How did he give you peace through the cross? He paid for it. Say he paid for it. Mambie, alilipia amani yangu. Hata wakati kuna shida ni tarara kama mtoto. Hallelujah. He procured my peace. What was supposed to be done to me was done to him. 
Haleluya. Mambo yale yanakuja kuimba amani yangu ili shughuli kuwa msalabani. Haleluya. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Vas tumesoma Isaiah 55 it says the chastisement the chastisement of our peace was upon him. Haleluya. On the cross. Haleluya. And after his resurrection every time he appeared before his disciples wakati alifufuka John 20 from verse 19 wakati alifufuka akitokea his disciples every time he would say peace be upon you because he has finished the business of peace amen, amen. hallelujah hebu nikuulize if today you are told you are going to be crucified tomorrow would you sleep but peter was put in prison between two soldiers hallelujah aliwekwa kwa koloni na akawekwa i think there were four soldiers and the others four were outside another four were outside hallelujah and the bible says peter slept in prison na alikuwa ameshikwa kesho yeye akauawe he was to be killed the next day but peter was sound asleep what was that the peace of christ hallelujah in the midst of trouble when you don't know what you will do tomorrow you can afford to sleep in peace hallelujah the bible says in in psalms that it gives peace to them that he loves amen, amen. that you not rise up at night to eat the bread of sorrows yeye upatie amani wale anawapenda hautaamka usiku kula mkate wa maombolezo mkate wa maombolezo ndile unakosa usingizi kwa sababu yeye shida uko nazo you cannot sleep because what will happen tomorrow what will happen tomorrow hallelujah Glory to God. Amen. Jesus says, I think it's Matthew 6. He says, not be troubled about tomorrow. What shall we eat or drink? What shall cloth? Who siweza kufaika kilo tava utakula? Your father knows you need them. Hallelujah. Amen. If you know what Christ did, now you can sleep and trust God. He did it for me. Hallelujah. Amen. So on the cross, you receive peace. You can read John 20 verse 19 verse 21 and verse 26. When he appeared before his disciples say peace be unto you. Do not be afraid. Peace be unto you. Say I have peace. I have peace. That's a benefit we have received from the cross. Satan yataana nguvu za kuja hata kinuka hapa unasalala. There's a man called Smigido who was I was reading about him. And I thought Smigido was we was was we was what? And one day he was a man of faith. One day Satan alimtokezea. Aliamka akaona Satan ndio huyu. Wewe unazalala tena. Umeona Satan? Si Mungu, si Yesu, umeona Satan. Pengine hata lala tena. Hallelujah. Lakini yeye alipoona Satan, alimwambia akamwambia, "Ah, it is you." Ah. Akarudi kulala. He went back to sleep. He didn't care whether the devil is there or not. Hallelujah. He had peace. He knew what Christ did on the cross. Ukijua kile Yesu Kristo alikanisha msalabani, hautasumbuliwa na mambo mengi. Utakuwa na imani Mungu atakushughulikia. You will have faith that God will work it for you. Amen. When you are to look at the cross, you will never be troubled by any circumstance. You will always receive peace that Christ procured for you by the Holy Spirit who lives in you. Amen. Ukiwa na mambo hautafadhaika, utakuwa na amani ile amani ya Kristo iko ndani yako kupitia Roho Mtakatifu amen? amen God made peace through the cross He made peace with everything He made peace through the cross Ali let amani And the Bible says in Colossians 1:20 And having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things to himself by him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven He made peace with everything If Christ is in you, you will start having peace with your enemies. You didn't get me somewhere. The Bible says, live in peace with everybody as much as it's possible. Hallelujah. Amen. That tells me you can live at peace with your enemies. The Bible says, God gave peace to Solomon. He never fought any battle. Did you know that? Hallelujah. Unaweza kuwa na watu wako inukia na ukuwe na amani. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the prayers we make to kill people who are our enemies is ungodly let me repeat it any maombi unaomba kuwa watu wale ambao ni maandui wako 
Ayambatani na msaraba. Hano unajuliza na mna gani? God never gave us power to kill people. Nionyesha in the New Testament. Where Jesus gave us power to kill people. But he gave us power to cast out devils. Your enemies are not your real enemies. They just a vessel of the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. So pray for them and destroy the work of Satan that is working in them. If it was so, Jesus never gave you something that he never had. Yesu akupatia kile hakuwa nacho na Yesu akukupatia ukafanya kile yeye akufanya. Yeye hakuwa maandui zake. Mimi nasema bariki wanao. Kuchukia ombea maandui zako. Haikusema wauwe maandui zako. That's why I have to teach you the right gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. There's no praise. God said kio. Then you become a madra. Isn't it? Hallelujah. But he said pray for them. Some people we think our enemies when we pray and have peace with them they become a help. But the kuwa side is wet. Wet. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana asifiye sana. Some of the people tonight are their enemies. They are not actually our enemies. We misunderstood them. Atukuelewa. Tulikosana na wao. Wakakuwa maadui. Set. Hallelujah. Pray for them and destroy the power working in them. God never gave you power to bite a human spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. He came to destroy the work of the enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It is true. Bwana za sana. Tukae kama Yesu Kristo. Tuumbiri injiri ile Yesu Kristo aliumbi, aliumbi. Hallelujah. We receive peace. We receive mental health when you walk in peace. We have mental health. Fikra zetu. Hallelujah. Mimi ushangaa tukiwa tumeokoka na unakuta mtu akiona mtu mwingine ameokoka ni adui yake. It's not possible. Nimeokoka na wewe ni adui yangu na umeokoka. Inawezekanaje? Then tunaabudu Mungu gani? Atisiwezi kukusalimia na nimeokoka na umeokoka. Tunaenda mbinguni gani? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's Jesus who said, Paul says, live at peace with everyone. Kana mani na kila. Kwa it is it is possible because Christ is your peace. He Brought your peace on the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Say I can live in peace. I may have nothing to eat for tomorrow. I don't know what I eat tomorrow morning, but I can sleep well like a baby. That is peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you are trusting God and the peace of God dwells in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Number five. You are delivered from the power of darkness and to ascend to the kingdom of his dear son. Hallelujah. Amen. Something else that happened is that you are delivered from the power of darkness. On the cross, say I'm delivered. If you learn to know how to appropriate the benefits from the cross, come on as a Jew, on as a Chukua Manufa, in your Christ, you are Musarabani. Kuna mambo mengi atutafanya. Na tutaenda tukiwa huru kila siku. Mapepo itatutoroka. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Na ongea hivi kwa sababu kuna watu wameombewa deliverance mara nyingi. Wameombewa nasikia wameombewa wameenda huku wameenda kule wameenda kule mapepo yaondoki. Hallelujah. Amen. Lakini Mungu anataka mwana wake you are child of God to know what Christ did for you and you begin to take the benefits anza kuchukua manufaa ile ikakusaidie haleluya glory to god if today unakuwa ukinichapa chapa haleluya unaniambia wewe unakuchapa kwa sababu hivi na hivi alafu nikuje nijue unanichapia gabule hiyo unanichapia ili nilipwa unanichapia kitu kililipwa unafikia kesho nitakubali unichape kwambia wewe jaribu haleluya 
Hii kitu nanichapia kila wakati kililipwa it was paid for why do you try to strike me no so you reach a point of telling the devil we have nothing to do with you amen, amen. Colossians 1:13 it says God has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us to the kingdom of his dear son I want to solve, to read from English revised version and say God made us free say I'm free from the power of darkness and he brought us in the kingdom of his dear son you are not in the kingdom of darkness you are in the kingdom of his dear son hallelujah Amen. glory to God Amen. and God has freed you so anytime you look at the cross you say I am free hallelujah Amen. and you believe you are free and you begin to declare it hata kama kuna tumapepo tulikuwa tunakufuata tutaanza kutoroka hallelujah you must learn to walk free. Hallelujah. Most of the time we talk opposite. E kare kapepo kana nisumbua. Kare kapepo kamekuja kamenishika. No, that is not the language of a Christian. You have been delivered. Don't put yourself to bondage again. You have been believed, delivered from the power of darkness. Through the cross we are made free. We were delivered from bondage of Satan. We are not under bondage. We have now power over Satan. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We must walk as the people are set free. How? When you understand that, you can go to the cross and begin to receive it. And tell God, unabia mungu na kushukuru kwa sababu ulinikomboa kutoa nguvu za giza na kushukuru mimi niko huku, niko huru na kushukuru mimi naenda hakuna pepo inanisu. Na pepo yote inaguza mwili huu, inaguza maisha yangu yondoke katika jina and you believe what you are saying and you believe what Christ did that's why Isaiah now who shall believe our report if you don't believe, believe the report of the lord utakuwa kila mahali unaenda kutafuta kukombolewa there was a time nilijiuliza nikauliza mungu kwani hakuwa na nguvu msalamba ya kwamba lazima watu kila wakati wakue wanakukombolewa wana, kuombolewa kuombolewa amen? amen but what has come to me is you can walk free by always Praying this prayer and looking on the cross and believing what Christ did for you. Hallelujah. Utakutakare kapepo kalikuwa na kusumbua. Katajua umenjua, you are right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Kakuja kuingia ata kama walifanya makosa, nilisamehewa. Hallelujah. Unatubu. Na unakambia kaondo. Running to cast out the devil for yourself is very important. One of the things which is a gift ni kipawa ulipewa na Mungu ni ya kukemea sheta. Na alisema hakusema ni pastor. Alisema yote ambaye atakaye niamini, whoever you believe in me, this sign shall follow them. Hii mambo itafuata. Kwa jina langu atakemea pepo na itaondo. Knowing your position. Hallelujah. Amen. Knowing your position. That is why through this you can tell the devil listen back off from my life back off from my children on doka in the name of Jesus hallelujah Amen. in Colossians 1:14 says that in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins kupitia ndamu ya Yesu Kristo tulikombolewa we were delivered tulikombolewa kupitia ndamu ya Yesu. Hallelujah. Nabii anaenda kusema ya kwamba what did he just do? Jesus overthrew the enemy. He stripped off the power of the enemy and put him to public shame. Let's read Colossians 2:15. I'll read from International Standard Version. Inasema, when he had disarmed the rulers and the authorities, he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in the cross. And Colossians 2:15 it says, again, I want to read in English, vice fashion, in a sema, he defeated the rulers and the powers of the spiritual world. With a cross, he won the victory over them, and led them away, and led them away as defeated and powerless prisoners for the whole world to see. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, Satan is the defeated for. Sometimes tunapea shetani nguvu nyingi sana kwa kusema vile anafanya mambo makubwa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lakini when I read this the Bible says 
He was stripped of his power. Shetan aliondolewa nguvu zake. Yesu Kristo alipoingia mpaka Jahanam, alimuondoa zile nguvu na akachukua funguo za kuzimu na za kifo. Haleluya. Na akaweza kufufuliwa. Kwa hivyo shetani anasugua watu kwa nini? Kwa sababu shetani is very crafty. Haleluya. When he went to Eve and Adam, hakuwa na nguvu juu ya Eve and Adam. He never had power over Eve and Adam. Alitumia nini? Craftiness. Anakundanganya unamfungulia mlango, akishaingia atakutawala. Are you getting me? That's how it works. Hallelujah. Yeye wewe ndio unampatia nafasi. It is you who gives. That's why the Bible says, resist the devil and he shall free. Did God say that not knowing that you are able to do that? Mungu akusema, I resist the devil for you. He says, you say me. Is this resist? James 4. 6 7. Then another place he says in Ephesians 4. He says, do not give the devil a foothold. Usimpatie shetani nafasi. Ni kuonyesha ndio shetani aweze kushinda na aweze kupiga kanisa. Yeye ukuja na mambo ya kujificha, umpatie nafasi. When you give him a place, unafungua mlango kidogo hivi anaingia ndani. Haleluya. Anaanza kukusumbua. Tuko pamoja. But when you look at the cross, always remember Christ won for me. Christ aliondoa nguvu zote za shetani, alimshinda na akamweka aibu adharani. Are you getting me? And I'm, why am I teaching you this? So that you begin to walk in victory every day. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you. Sometimes we pray prayers like this, God, ondoa shetani. Hallelujah. Kemea shetani. God will not come to rebuke the devil. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Because to Mesopa para Joshua, the Bible says the, the angel of the Lord rebuke the devil says the Lord rebuke you. But now Jesus says I give you power to cast out the devil. He give you. When I give you something, is it mine any longer? I give you to do it. Hallelujah. Amen. If I tell you take this out there, I expect you to do that. Hallelujah. Where when you mepewa mamlaka ya kumuondoa shetani na kumkemea katika maisha yako. Ukishaelewa msalaba kile Yesu Kristo alifanya, utakuwa na ujasiri wa kusimama na kukemea pepo ya aina yote. You have the boldness. Hallelujah. Amen. To rebuke every demon and evil spirit. Because you understand they were defeated. Let me tell you who dwells in you. Who did you receive? Ulipokea nani? Acha tuongee kidogo. Ulipokea nani? Wengine hawakupokea Kristo, alipokea mwingine. Usipojibu nitafikiria namna gani? Ulipokea nani? Na kama ulipokea Kristo. Ulipokea Kristo na si yule atungureni ama wapi? Ulitokea Kristo wa msalaba. Unajua kuna Kristo, kuna Kristo wengi, lakini Kristo tunaongea. That's why the cross differentiates the Christ we believe in. Many Christ Jesus as we come. Wengine watacheza footballers, they are called Jesus. Wengine walikuwa naitwa ba Jesus na walikuwa rogi. Kuna wengine watajiita ba Jesus, watajiita na ni warogi. But the Christ who has power, the difference is he went to the cross. Did you hear me somebody? So who did you receive? Christ. Amen. Amen. Who defeated the devil? Who defeated the devil? Who dwells in you? So when you face the devil? Ah, jijazia hapa hata wewe. Hallelujah. I'm trying to open up your eyes. When you face the devil, don't fear because Christ who defeated the devil is in you. That same Christ says, I give you power to cast out devils. Nimekupatia mamlaka ya kukemea shetani. Haleluya. Glory to God. Badala ya kusema vile shetani anafanya, mkemee. Ambia jirani yako. Badala ya kusema vile shetani anafanya, mkemee. Haleluya. Haleluya. Glory to God. Estukue na mtu hapa ananisumbua. Nisina kwambia na huyu mtu ananisumbuaga. Na huyu mtu na yako hapa. Na mimi nakwambia kwa nini unaniambia na kusumbua? Si muondoe mwambie ende zake. Haleluya. Na uko na nguvu ya kumwambia aondoke. 
You have the power to tell that person leave. But now instead of telling that person leave, you still go saying, who you to? It's a problem to me. It's a... No. That's what you should do to the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So Jesus defeated him. It is trespasses. It is a trespass for Satan to touch your body. Wakati Satan ya naguza maisha yako, anafanya kinyume na neno la Mungu. Na wewe unaweza tu kunyamaza ukampatia nafasi. By thinking now itafanya nini? But he has no right to touch you. That is why he uses crafty means. Unafungulia mla? Mlango. Hallelujah. Amen. For your body and spirit they belong to God. You have been bought at a price. On the cross ulinunuliwa kwa dhamana. Ulinunuliwa sema nimenunuliwa. First Corinthians 6:20 says, "For you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's." Uri nunuliwa kwa dhamana tukuza Mungu kwa nafsi yako na mwili wako. Wow, when we are not praising God, glorifying God, what are we doing? Tukiingiana mambo ya dunia, we start glorifying other things. Satan anapata nafasi. Nafasi. Hallelujah. Mwili wako ni wa dhamana. Your body, your soul and spirit ni zako. Wakati unaspeleka katika dhambi, unafungulia shetani mlango. Wakati unaziweka zikatukuza Mungu naye Mungu anakuwa pamoja na wewe. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we must learn to keep our bodies well. Hallelujah. Amen. We must learn to keep our bodies and our spirit away from sin. Tusifanyishe tusifanyishe miri yetu dhambi. Let's not do sin with our body. Let us not sin with our spirit. Let us serve God and glorify God with our bodies. Amen. Satan has no power over you and you should not fear him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The problem is fear. Say fear. fear. If there is a door that opens attacks is fear. Woga. May I always give the example of a dog. And that's how the devil behaves. A dog. When you go and meet a dog which has no power to bite you. Umbo ambayo hata iliko na uoga kukuliko. Hello, hello. Uende uikute. And then that dog you wonder uko na uoga. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is something I saw when I was young. Ukiona aumbwa iko na uoga, imeanza ku back, it start barking and it's going nyuma nyuma. Na wewe unaanza kutetemeka and you start you take off. That dog will bite your heel. Hallelujah. But if you stand your ground, it backs and you are just coming where it is. And then you show like you are, you are taking a stone. Utaona it will coil and run away. Hallelujah. <laughs> so when you know what you carry, you will know how to face the devil. 